Hello, in this jQuery video, we are going to detect the form submit event. So this event is triggered when the user submits a form, basically. So let's simply create a quick form. Uh, I can have an empty action, it doesn't matter what the action is. And I want to say, I'm going to have an input. And I am going to have a type of text. Obviously, we're just creating some really, really simple form. This part doesn't really matter too much. It's the actual submission part of it. And if I say, let's say if I put a placeholder in it, just to make it look more nice. And for the placeholder, I'll say, enter username. So now I'm going to have one more input. But this time, it is going to be of type submit and the, the value I will say is login, for example. So you can log in with just a username, apparently. If I reload and if I click this, you know, it does this reload. If we want to you know, actually detect when this is actually being triggered, we can go here and just, first of all, we need to actually pick this form. You can either assign an ID, a class to it, or just pick it directly using form, however you want. So form, for example, do dot submit. And now I'm just gonna do an alert. So this is just a JavaScript alert saying form has been submitted. So if I reload that now, and it doesn't matter what's in here, and I click login, as you can see, it says form has been submitted. So in this case, because it has an action, it actually reloads the page, or let's say potentially try and go to another page. That's the reason I did an alert instead of a console log. But this is how you detect when a form has been submitted. You could actually prevent the default behavior as well. I've got a video on that, so I highly recommend checking that out. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.